If you're looking to buy coins, do be sure to check the link in the description for FIFA Coins. They're selling for £5 per 100k on the Xbox and £3 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSHIA at checkout and you'll get your coins instantly. What's up, lads? Joshua, and welcome back to another episode of potential January transfers for FIFA 15. And today we are going to be discussing some transfer rumors, some pretty big ones. As you can see on the screen now, there is a Bayon Manchester United card and a Torres for Atletico Madrid. Those will be the transfers we talk about today, uh, along with three others. So if you guys are uh, looking forward to seeing more of this series, do be sure to smash that like button. And uh, I will be uploading a couple of these every week now because I, I, you know, obviously with the Christmas series, I couldn't really upload it and. Uh, now that that's done, obviously, uh, and Christmas is over, I will actually get back to uploading this. So hopefully you guys uh, you know, are looking forward to seeing some more. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you've heard any transfer rumors, and I will cover them in the next episode. Okay guys, so the first transfer rumor we're going to talk about is going to be Gareth Bale possibly leaving Real Madrid for Manchester United. Now personally, I think this is a ridiculous uh, transfer rumor. I can't see this happening in January. It's just too big of a transfer and the transfer, you know, the rumor transfer fee is 120 million. A huge sum of money which I don't think Manchester United would want to pay in January. I mean obviously if Bale wanted to come, I'm pretty sure we would love to spend that money but I just can't see him leaving after a year and like three months is it you know since he's joined Real Madrid he's already won trophies he's already having you know at the top of the league he's having fantastic times Um, obviously I, I think he's struggling to get to the team at the moment because Isco is kind of on fire but I don't know when you're being paid that sort of salary and you know you're with that sort of a team I cannot really see uh, a reason to leave especially in January it just seems too out of the blue in my opinion but it could happen it may not happen uh, in my opinion it's like a 95% chance it will not happen and then there's that 5% chance that it could but anyway that's my my opinion and it uh, would just be an, a sensational signing if Manchester United could pick up Bale because we are missing that right mid uh, that we ever so need you know so then we've got Bale on the right and uh, obviously Di Maria in the left and we've you know we're back to the the old Manchester United ways of uh, winger attacks. Moving on to the next transfer rumor, guys, and we are going to talk about Sterling with a possible move away from Liverpool to Real Madrid. This is a very, very strange link, in my personal opinion, but it could happen. And, uh, you know, Real Madrid are basically just after anybody at the moment. Anybody with actual potential talent and, you know, uh, within their price range, they seem to be just buying at the moment just because they're building that, you know, that wonder kid team, that absolutely amazing potential team, you know, for years to come. You know, when Ronaldo's, um, you know, obviously, he's, he's obviously getting a bit older now. And, uh, you know, he's not going to be able to bang them in every single year for the next five years, I can't imagine. So, but, you know, when once he does start to dip in form, you know, somebody's going to be there to back him up and somebody's going to be there to take his position as well. But uh, I'm not sure if that will be Sterling or not, but they have been actually after him for, uh, you know, I think last year as well or in the summer as well. So um, whether this could happen in January, I really don't think so. But, you know, it is actually a transfer rumor, but it could happen in the summer. But I think Sterling will be around for Liverpool for at least another year or two. Moving on to the third transfer rumour of the day, guys. We're going to be talking about Torres on loan at AC Milan at the moment from Chelsea. And it looks like he wants a permanent move to uh, Atletico Madrid, his old club, before he signed for Liverpool, of course. And uh, it seems like this is almost a pretty much done deal. I'm, I'm like almost, I'm like 90 to 95% sure that this deal is actually pretty much done. And it is actually a swap deal, apparently. You know, Serchi uh, recently signing for Atletico Madrid, I think it was in the summer, from Torino. Hasn't had the best of time there. So apparently he's only going to have like a three month spell there and I think he's either moving on loan to um, to AC Milan or it's a full deal again. I'm, I'm really not too sure. It's a really strange deal to, to be talking about but there's uh, obviously there's two players and three clubs to be talking about here. There's Atletico Madrid, AC Milan and Chelsea so I'm really not too sure what's going down with Serchi but I think Torres will definitely go back to Atletico Madrid in January. Moving on to the next January transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Serchi. Now, of course, I spent a lot of time talking about Serchi in Torres' section, so I'm not going to speak too much about him, but it is looking like he will be moving over to AC Milan, whether it's on loan or whether it's a full permanent deal, I'm not too sure. But after only spending like three months' time at Atletico Madrid, I can imagine this is just going to be a loan, but hey-ho, we will never know, and we will have to wait and find out until January um, to see if he will move to AC Milan or not. I'm almost certain he will move just because he's had a Toro, uh, you know, he's, he's had a pretty much terrible time at uh, Atletico Madrid uh, since since joining in the summer from Torino but it looks like he's going to move over to AC Milan and of course it looks like Torres will be moving over to Atletico Madrid in the swap deal. 
And on to the final potential January transfer, guys. We're going to be talking about Mario Balotelli. Had a bit of a flop at Liverpool. Hasn't scored a Barclays Premier League goal yet. I think he scored two uh, goals for Liverpool. I think he scored a championship, uh, Champions League goal, and he scored a league goal, like a League Cup goal. Can't remember, you know, what game it was, but um, I was reading the stats, and he's only scored two goals for Liverpool, I think. Uh, so he's had a bit of a torrid time at Liverpool, and it just seems like it's not working for him. And Liverpool have basically just dropped him to the bench for now because of his, you know. Match suspensions and everything that's been going on with you know all of his social media. Um, uh, well, I can't really, I can't really remember what's been going on with him, but he's just been like banned for like a couple of games because of what he's been doing on social media or something like that. Um, but it just doesn't seem like he's having the best of times at Liverpool, and he could be on his way out already. Maybe, it'll be, maybe it'll be a loan. Maybe it'll just be um, you know a full deal because Liverpool wants to get rid of him asap. But as soon as Storage is back, I can't imagine Balotelli playing that much. And you know Sterling seems to be playing okay. Um, well. Much better than Balotelli and Lambert, in my personal opinion, already. So I don't really think they they need Balotelli anymore. I think 16 million was a bit of a waste for him um, in the first place. But I don't know. They had to take that risk because of Sturridge's injury um, in the first place. But it seems like he may be going on the, on his way to Inter Milan or Napoli. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, let me know what you're, if you're a Liverpool fan, let me know what you think of this transfer because I can imagine that a lot of you are quite happy about it because Balotelli is a bit of a villain in Anfield at the moment. He just doesn't seem to be doing too much right. Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of FIFA 15 Potential January Transfers. This has been episode 5. Comment down below any transfer rumours you have heard and I will see if I can cover them in the next episode. Just remember guys that this is not like a, um, a, like a full on serious video or vi a series because this is just, you know, uh, talking about transfer rumours at the end of the day these could be complete bullshit rumors these could be these could be like 100% true rumors you're just never going to know until the transfer actually happens i can't imagine a lot of people imagine falcao or di maria would sign for manchester united they started off as rumors but they eventually happened so as you can imagine uh, transfer rumors are actually a big a big thing to talk about but um i like i said i'm just doing it for fun and hopefully you guys uh, you know enjoy watching them but apart from that thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it leave a like rate and subscribe to my channel if you're new idea follow me on twitter at 94 and apart from that guys i'll see you guys tomorrow peace